The league is a great, uh, it's a great night out. Uh, a lot of guys come out. Uh, we enjoy the night out. There's a lot of camaraderie. Just develop friendships. People you know uh, come down that you've known all your life and you know you get to just kind of rekindle with them. And the others you meet for the first time here. The Stamford Bocce League has been going strong for 60 years now. And from May to August, the players can be found duking it out Monday and Tuesday nights at Scalzi Park. That's three. Stop, 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 stop. That's three. Three in here. Go ahead, y'all. Measurement for two, John. Good ball, though. Bocce was created in Italy, and when immigrants brought the game over to the States, it stuck. The Stamford League was created in 1951. The first team throws out, the home team throws out the pallino, which is a small jack ball. And they have ball in hand and they have to get in as close as possible. Uh, the second team tries to beat out that ball by coming in closer, similar to horseshoes. If they do beat that ball and come in closer, then the first team goes again and they try to beat the second team's ball. Scoring is based on who's the closest ball and how many balls are closest to the Paulino before the first opponent's team. So if you have two of your balls closer than the first opponent's ball, then you have two points. The game keeps going like that from end to end of the court until one team reaches 16 and the game is over. The league has a full 32 teams now. And according to President Al Dalia, the league even has a waiting list now, a testament to its growth over the years, due in part to the growth of the internet. Now we have an abundance. We were having a hard time getting 32 teams. Now we have 32. Last year, this year, we have seven teams on a waiting list trying to get in. So once we went on the internet, uh, it seemed to have opened it up. A lot of people got interested in it. A friend of mine's father, um, he wanted to teach a bunch of us. We were all young at the time, and he wanted to teach a bunch of us uh, uh, how to play bocce and how to appreciate it. And so he signed us up for a team and dragged us down here, and we've been here ever since. The ball hit the board exactly where it was supposed to hit, and it rolled in for a point. The other one was way too close to me. That was perfect. That's how you play the boards. Dalia also said that the league is getting younger. Though Bocce has a knack for attracting older crowds, the Stanford Bocce League has 10 teams with all members under 30 years of age. I like that it's, uh, you know, uh, 32 teams and you're playing against Every year playing against uh, new teams and uh, you're learning a lot from other players. It's a nice stress release, relaxing, coming out with my uh, brother-in-laws, having a good time, drinking some beer, playing some, uh, playing some bocce, just getting outside, it's nice. I think Al Dalia does a great job and uh, I'm glad, you know, the guys that run it, I appreciate what they do and I thank them.